Here's a circa 1967 or 68 Magnavox Astrosonic Stereo that a couple at my church gave me. They're getting ready to move into a retirement community and and they wanted me to have this thing, so I just brought it home with me. There's the record changer and the control panel, Astrosonic solid state with the familiar Micromatic record changer in it. He said the radio still works, but the record changer has a problem. And that's just a couple of wheels that came off the bottom of it. And he also gave me this dual record changer. I think it's a model 1226. It's a two-speed model and gave me those records. That's some I want to keep. And this other big box of records and those 45s over there. I think most of that's classical. And then I was coming home and we stopped in a little antique store and I bought this old General Electric console from the late 40s probably 46, 47, 48 somewhere around in there it's a AM and short wave unit and that dial glass needs to be put back and there's a few little veneer problems here's the record changer now the main reason I bought this is is because this record changer uses the earliest version of the uh, General Electric variable reluctance magnetic pickup. And I've heard these old early models sounded real nice with, when playing 78. So I said, well, for 25 bucks, I can't go wrong. Even though the cabinet needs a little work, there's your record storage area. And back here is the chassis. There's the main chassis there and the big 12-inch speaker and the phono preamp chassis and the loop antenna. So there you go. I just thought I'd make a quick video and show you that stuff and hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll be hearing it play pretty soon. Okay, here's the inside of the Magnavox. Got a couple of 12 inch woofers and a couple of horn speakers. And there's the chassis. Can't really see it that well, but looks like this thing was made in 1968 according to date codes I'm finding on the transistors. But I think it'll be a decent performing stereo. Okay, now I'm really done this time. Thanks for watching. More to come later. Oh, and one other thing I picked up. We stopped at another junk store and they had this, looks like probably from the early 1980s, 13-inch uh, Zenith System 3 television, color TV with the single knob bare actor tuner. Filthy as all get out and cord's been cut off of it, but... He said I could have it for five bucks, so I figured, what the heck, you know, I don't see TVs like this much, so... Yeah, I've lost more than five bucks on stuff before if it turns out to be a dud, so... Okay, I promise, that's it, I'm done, I'm gone, thanks for watching, more to come later.